Gunsafe Academy, Iwana, Nebraska. My name is Patrick Smith, uh, YouTube channel Cure for Ignorance. Real quick, we're going to go through a video, and it's got to be quick because I am cleaning my basement out. I'm going through computer stuff and gun stuff, and I uh, have this thought, and I don't want to have to edit this video later. So, real quick. Um, talking about uh, quality versus quantity. Um, I've been in Omaha almost my whole life, and I can tell you one thing that you can't buy from a hardware store or uh, a box store like Walmart or something is a decent flashlight. You can go to a cop shop and buy a decent flashlight, but I've thrown away half a dozen of these flashlights. Um, and I bought them for the reason you've probably bought cheap flashlights. I was at the store, I needed a flashlight or wanted a flashlight. They were on the shelf, they were 15 or 20 bucks, and you know, good amount of weight to it, uh, nice and bright, supposed to be good battery life, and I buy them. And then some of these were crib deaths, they died in a, a month or six months. Uh, some of them lasted a year, but either the battery contacts or the swish went bad on them. And the reason they're in a bin is because I thought I could, I could, you know, work with the contacts, get that fixed, get it back in operation. But I decided that my time is worth more than that. Um, I fixed these things before and uh, I don't want hodgepodge stuff uh, being in tools. Now that's uh, not just talking about self-defense tool, that's any tool. You buy the cheapest drill or the cheapest calipers or multimeter, then you're always gonna wonder if, you know, if uh, the, uh, the, the drill's gonna crap out on you or the caliper's giving you a wrong me measurement or if you're getting the right voltage back when you're testing electronics. A good tool is worth your time. So spend a little more and get, get a good tool. Um, so these little Surefire lights or this primary arms flashlight, 750 lumens. That was like 85 bucks, I think, from Optics Planet. They're still 85 bucks, but they come with uh, uh, a pressure switch now too. So it's a, it's a good deal. So you don't have to spend a ton of money, but spend more than the 10, 15 dollar things. Uh, these little sight mark sights, I bought these, put these on rifles. These are fine for Plinkin rifles, uh, but again, um, and this is kind of a video about uh, do as I say, not as I have done kind of thing. Because I, I just now, this year, uh, bought my first aim point, put it on a rifle. Um, I've got maybe 400 rounds through the rifle since I put that sight on there. Um, but just, I'm getting to the point where I'm tired of buying cheap stuff and fighting it or, or worrying about it. Um, and I'm, I'm always big on backups. One is none, two is one kind of thing. So I always factor that in too. Well, I'm buying you know, two $40 flashlights instead of one $80 flashlight, so I got a backup. And it's just like with, with guns people bring flash. They talk to me about, you know, what's a good backup gun to buy? How about you sell the piece of crap you have, you take the money you're going to use on the backup gun, and you buy one gun that works. I've said that to people, um, and I've I missed that applying that to, to flashlights and other gear. So I've got, you know, tubs of holsters and duty holsters and stuff like this that I'm never going to use. So I need to, need to get it sold, or I need to get it given away to, to people who are actually going to use it. Because um, keeping this stuff in a bin where it's going to collect dust and never see the light of day again and never get used um, makes it useless to me because I'm never going to use it. Um, makes that you know money sitting there that I could use for ammunition or for training. Um, or it means that I could be helping somebody with a piece of gear that maybe they need and can't afford new. Um, so don't collect a bunch of crap. Yeah, have backups, you know, but I have a tendency to overbuy backups and, and keep them too long. So um, don't clutter your house with a bunch of extra crap if you don't have to. Um, buy one thing that's good quality so you don't have to buy it twice, three times, four times. Don't throw good money after bad. Um, and uh, fight the instant gratification thing. Um, buy a good tool, wait for it. If you got to save for it, to wait for it. you got to wait for shipping, wait for it a little bit. And um, don't, don't have so much crap in your house. All right. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, Patrick Smith and I have to get back to work on this basement because it is now noon and I have a lot of junk to do. Take it easy, guys. Thanks for watching.